Hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to my video game pickups for August 2019. As per usual, gameplay footage included for every game on this list. And first up we have Boulder Dash for the NES. This is a puzzle game where you maniacally dig through caves in search of precious gems, after which you must reach the exit safely within the time limit, avoiding falling rocks and enemies along the way. This game is a classic and has been ported to many different consoles and home computers, and followed by a long legacy of follow-up games. Also funnily enough, if you say the game's title quickly, it sounds like the word Boulder Dash, which is ironic because I do talk a lot of nonsense, as was just evident. Anyway, that's Boulder Dash on the NES. And next up we have Subterranea on the Sega Mega Drive. This is a multi-directional shooter. Aliens have invaded a vital subterranean mining colony. Use light speed reflexes and total concentration to fly your prototype fighter through impossible caverns, rescuing miners and blasting the aliens into the darkest pits of space. You move around by thrusting your ship forward in any direction, but gravity will always pull you down, and you only have a limited amount of fuel, although you can pick up extra fuel and other items by carefully landing and collecting them. The gameplay actually reminds me a lot of Solar Jetman. There are 10 levels with varied objectives to play through, ranging from rescuing miners to gunning down alien boss monsters. That's Subterranea on the Sega Mega Drive. And next up we have... Game & Watch Gallery Advance on the Game Boy Advance. This is a collection of Game & Watch games, known overseas as Game & Watch Gallery 4, but over here it's actually the fifth game in the series. It contains a bunch of Game & Watch games including Fire, which is the gameplay you are seeing, Boxing, Rain Shower, Mario Cement Factory, Donkey Kong Jr. and Donkey Kong 3. Each can be played with modernized graphics as you are seeing right now, or more faithfully reproduce classic graphics from the original games. There's also extra unlockable games including Mario Bros, Donkey Kong, Octopus and Fire Attack which can be played with modern and classic graphics, as well as the following unlockable games which feature classic graphics only, including Manhole, Tropical Fish, Mario's Bombs Away, Parachute, Bomb Sweeper, Climber, Safe Buster, Lifeboat and Zelda. That's the Game & Watch Gallery Advance on the Game Boy Advance. And next up we have Serious Sam Advance on the Game Boy Advance. This is a first person shooter and features many weapons and enemies from the first encounter and the second encounter games and includes new and exclusive enemies and weapons to this game. Sam ventures back in time again, visiting Egypt and Rome and battling hordes of enemies and epic boss monsters. My one critique is that the graphical style of this game does not scale up well. As you can tell, the game was clearly designed for the small screen resolution of the Game Boy Advance and translates poorly when blown up to the big screen. Quite frankly, it looks like a blocky mess. That's Serious Sam on the Game Boy Advance. And next up we have Star X on the Game Boy Advance. This is a rail shooter. You are your people's last hope in a desperate fight for freedom. You are the only survivor of a doomed diplomatic envoy sent to befriend a new alien race. The peace talks were brief. As your party is slaughtered, you take to the skies, pursued by a never-relenting hostile force. Only your quick wits and skill as a pilot will preserve your people's freedom. Soar across nine alien worlds and into the depths of space as you fight to escape the oppressive alien forces and engage multiple enemies through 22 intense missions to test even the toughest pilot's skill, collecting weapons and equipment upgrades to enhance your offensive capabilities throughout. This game looks fantastic, the graphics and gameplay very much remind me of Star Fox, as you can blast down enemies in 3D, use the boost to get through, and even do a barrel roll. That's Star X on the Game Boy Advance. And next up we have... Holy Magic Century on the Nintendo 64. This is a role-playing game, and is also known as Quest 64 Overseas. Keltland has been cast into chaos by the theft of Ellie Tail's book. This mystical volume contains the secrets of the Spirit Tamers. You control Brian, a magician's apprentice as he explores the expansive countryside and villages on his quest. If he does not reclaim the book, the Kingdom of Keltland will be cast into darkness forever. 
use over 50 deadly spells to battle monsters in turn-based combat, and encounter over 100 characters throughout an immersive 3D overhead world. Nintendo Power says it will set the standard for 3D epics, and Q64 says it will provide die-hard RPG players and newcomers to the genre with many hours of solid gameplay. That's Holy Magic Century on the Nintendo 64. Next up, it's Fighter Maker on the PlayStation 1. This is a fighting game. It's here. The total 3D fighting game, Fighter Maker. Now you can have everything you've ever wanted in a fighting game. 3D fighting action, an arsenal of over 800 moves, and professional quality design tools that let you create your own moves and build the perfect fighter. Fighter Maker puts you in control of every frame of animation, every move, sound, visual effect, and camera angle as you design your custom fighter from wireframe character to unstoppable fighting machine. When you think you're ready, save your creation to a memory card and take on the world. The game also includes 20 pre-made fighters ready to play or create your own because great fighters are made, not born, in Fighter Maker on the PlayStation 1. And next up, it's Heart of Darkness on the PlayStation 1. This is a cinematic platformer. Hidden away in the heart of darkness lies a terrifying world. A world ruled by the Master of Darkness, whose cruel and absolute power leads an army of emaciated devils. This fiendish force scours the land in search of Andy, a young boy on a quest to rescue his dog Whiskey. Trapped in a terrifying nightmare, only you can take Andy through hundreds of epic encounters to overcome a whole host of wonderfully weird characters and emerge triumphant from the heart of darkness. The game boasts 176 locations and over 50 minutes of seamless film action as you climb, swing, twist and swim around 8 worlds of stunning environments packed with puzzles and fiendish traps. The game was developed by the creators of, and very much reminds me of, Another World. That's Heart of Darkness on the PlayStation 1. Next up we have Power Rangers Super Legends on the PlayStation 2. This is an action-adventure game. The game lets you play as one of 20 Power Rangers from various TV series, where you can face off against and defeat powerful boss villains and even battle in monumental Megazords. You can also join forces with a friend in two-player mode as well. The gameplay is a mix of platforming and beat-em-up action, and I'd go as far as to call this a hidden gem. If, like me, you love beat-em-up games, this is surprisingly good and reminds me a lot of Power Rangers on the Super Nintendo. And so, the ultimate Power Rangers battle begins in Power Rangers Super Legends on the PlayStation 2. Next up we have... Sly 2 Band of Thieves on the PlayStation 2. This is a platformer. Behind every great heist is a great team. And with Bentley the Brains, Murray the Muscle, and Sly the Master Thief, you'll soon be conjuring up elaborate plans to stay out of trouble. As staying one step ahead of the bad guys is all in a night's work for these ingenious thieves. Enjoy scrambling across rooftops, bypassing alarms, and dodging through the shadows in over 80 daring missions, with so many tricks and traps along the way. This game also includes a bonus demo of Ratchet & Clank 3, which is known overseas as Ratchet & Clank Up Your Arsenal, and funnily enough, that game includes a bonus demo of this game, which is pretty cool. So score big with Sly and his gang in Sly 2 Band of Thieves on the PlayStation 2. And next up we have Blinks the Time Sweeper on the original Xbox. This is a platformer and describes itself as the first 4D action game ever. The fourth dimension is time and Blinks has it at his command. Pause, slow, fast forward, rewind and record in more than 35 warped levels to rescue a princess, prevent a time disaster and save the world. You can control time to slow-mo and pause enemies to get the speed advantage, rewind to escape disaster, restore items and discover secrets, fast forward your adventure to speed through areas and save time, and record the action and replay cooperatively with your pre-recorded self. You can also upgrade your adventure with power-ups to get bigger and better sweepers and more. IGN.com says it's the best Xbox game of 2002 that's Blinks, the Time Sweeper on the original Xbox. 
And next up we have Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon on the original Xbox. This is a beat em up game with platforming elements. When legendary warriors vie to control the Sword of Destiny, prepare for the fight of a lifetime. This game features superhuman martial arts action, allowing you to experience and master all the whirling acrobatics, dizzying combos, and impossible dodges of the film, and face your destiny as vengeance, honor, and betrayal unfold in an epic quest with multiple endings based on your in-game performance. So unleash the martial arts magic of the Oscar-winning smash hit movie in Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon on the original Xbox. Next up we have Of Orcs and Men on the Xbox 360. This is a fantasy action role-playing game. In a world at war, the vast human empire strives to dominate all races. Orcs and goblins are systematically persecuted, enslaved and massacred. Lead a fearsome orc warrior and a goblin assassin on a dangerous mission to topple the empire and free your people. You can switch between the brutal power of the orc and the stealthy assassination tactics of the goblin as you level up and learn new skills as you progress through the game and experience a deep and involving storyline with additional side missions. So lead the revolution of orcs and goblins in Of Orcs and Men on the Xbox 360. And next up we have WWE All Stars on the Xbox 360. This is a wrestling game where two generations clash in one ring, and you can battle it out in fantasy matchups to see who is the best of all time. The game features 30 of the greatest WWE legends and superstars, including John Cena, Hulk Hogan, Randy Orton, The Ultimate Warrior, The Undertaker, Andre the Giant, Triple H, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Rey Mysterio, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, Sheamus, The Rock, The Miz, Brett, The Hitman Hart, Shawn Michaels, and many more. The gameplay, in contrast to other wrestling simulation games, is arcade action style and completely over the top, with finishing moves sending your opponents flying through the air. There are multiple game modes and the option to create your own wrestler. Truly, the greatest WWE matches haven't happened until now. In WWE All-Stars on the Xbox 360. Next up we have Lair on the PlayStation 3. This is an action-adventure game. Defend the skies atop a savage dragon bred to kill with fire, tooth, and claw. Lead the fearless warrior Roan and his elite sky guards to victory, raising entire armies to the ground, and soar into epic combat to save an ancient world on the edge of collapse. This game is intended to be played with the six-axis motion controls, tilting to steer, dive, and attack, but thankfully a patch was added so, for the most part, you can pilot using the left thumbstick. I really wish Star Fox Zero would do that. Anyway, this game has phenomenal visuals and launches you into thrilling 360 degree battles high in the air and on the ground. So take the reins of the ultimate weapon of war in Lair on the PlayStation 3. And next up we have Soldner X2 Final Prototype on the PlayStation Vita. This is a shoot 'em up game and had a limited physical release which I got from Play Asia. You travel to Gorta 4 as part of the Soldner X Defense Force and the rest of mankind will rely upon you to battle against new mysterious foes. Soldner X2 Final Prototype delivers a shoot 'em up experience mixing classic gameplay with stunning audio visuals that will surely add hype to the gaming experience. The dynamic gameplay features include 10 action-packed stages, a powerful score-linked difficulty system, and a challenge mode that allows players to unlock bonus features and rewards. This physical copy also includes the last chapter add-on on the cartridge, which is pretty cool, and it can be played on the PlayStation TV, which is how I captured this footage. The game looks amazing and plays fantastic. I'd say it's a must-have for any serious shoot 'em up fan like myself. That Soldner X2 final prototype on the PlayStation Vita. And next up we have Blaz Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend Limited Edition on the PlayStation 4. This is a fighting game. The limited edition includes the game and an official Blaz Blue art book. Discover a visual masterpiece with award winning art and animation featuring the biggest roster ever with 28 characters to enjoy. So experience the complete BlazBlue story, as this version includes additional story modes and new characters to play with. 
the legendary fighter is back with Blast Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend Limited Edition on the PlayStation 4. And finally we have Game Tengoku Cruising Mix Special Paradise Box Edition on the PlayStation 4. This is a shoot 'em up game which I got from Limited Run Games. The Paradise Box Edition includes the game, two soundtrack CDs, a retro long box case, an original anime DVD with English subtitles, a 100 plus page art book and 21 arcade game flyers. And this edition also includes extra characters Clarice, Tatsujin and Homura on the disc. You also have the option to play an arcade or Sega Saturn console version of the game. The latter is the gameplay you are seeing which fills up more of the screen. It's all singing, all dancing, all stupid shooting distilled into pure parody, including extra voices and music and in English for the first time. So welcome to the shooting paradise. The 1997 arcade hit is back and it's better than ever. That's Game Tengoku Cruising Mix Special Paradise Box Edition on the PlayStation 4. And there you have it, those are all of my video game pickups for August 2019. If you like the video, please leave a like or comment to let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And if you'd like to, you can also support me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you for watching, I've been MVL, and I will catch you next time.